Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and tonight I'm guiding you through another new moon yin yoga practice. And this month the new moon is in the sign of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is a fire sign and it's connected to our higher vision and our higher philosophy of life. So this moon cycle can help to expand our mind beyond the personal and more towards the higher vision of the collective, of the whole, of the bigger picture. So in today's practice, we'll take some time to connect with a sankalpa or a new moon intention, and we'll move through some yin yoga postures to help us integrate our intention. So we'll come into a comfortable seated position and we'll take our palms facing up on the thighs, taking a few breaths to settle in and feel the hips rooted down to the earth and the thigh bones relaxed, lengthening up along the spine and broadening across the chest, feeling the breath rise into the center of the chest. And as you exhale, soften the shoulders away from the ears and down your back, relaxing the arm lines and palms. Feeling the back of your neck lengthen and your jaw soften Forehead relax. Feeling the crown of your head opening up towards the night sky. And the new moon energies. These energies are known as soma. And you can think of Soma like a healing flow from the moon that cools, calms, and rejuvenates the mind and the nervous system. So feel yourself bathing under the light of the moon. Breathing in its beauty. And its healing presence. Allowing the mind to open and expand and empty out. Connecting to the higher mind as you create your sankalpa for this next lunar cycle. Asking to see the bigger picture, the higher wisdom, the interconnected whole. And let's bring our palms to heart center. And as we move through our practice tonight, simply allowing the seeds of your sankalpa to awaken in the mind. And we'll take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale, letting the chin drop forward. You can open your eyes and soften the palms back down to your lap. Breathe into the back of your neck. Begin to softly roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Breathing into the side of your neck.
Exhaling, chin back to center. And then rolling right ear to right shoulder. Breathing into the opposite side of your neck. And chin back to center, floating your head up, taking a breath, rolling the shoulders to your ears. And exhale, relax them back and down. And you can widen through the sits bones, release your legs, shake them out if you need to. And then we're coming into our first long hold. So we'll bring the soles of our feet together for butterfly pose, drawing the heels away from the body. You can support your knees if you need to. And then we're turning our body over towards the left thigh and the left knee. And we're folding forward over the left side, more towards the inner thigh. And you can root back and down through the right hip. Let that thigh relax and the knee. Your upper body softens, shoulders drop and your head drops. Feel free to add blocks or pillows underneath your head so that you can really relax the weight of the body down into the earth. Breathing all the way up from the right hip, lower back, along the side body to the right shoulder. Relax your neck and head. To come out of this posture, move very slowly. Walk your palms back under your shoulders and draw up from the base of the spine. So you're rolling the spine up and your head lifts last. As you come up, return your body back to center and breathe. Allowing the fluids of the body to begin to circulate through the newly opened spaces. Big breaths into your chest. And then opening your eyes and we're shifting all the way over to the left hip. And you can bring your right knee behind you. Your heel and your knee will come together to touch. And we're taking either a bolster or a rolled blanket or even a pillow that you have at home. And we're bringing it alongside the hip. And then we're rotating our chest over the prop. 
palms to either side of the cushion or bolster and then lengthen along your spine. So you're twisting here from the abdomen. And if your lower back feels strained at all, you're just stacking knee on top of knee, even putting another cushion or blanket between the knees. And then lengthen the spine and fold forward. Turn your head to look towards the bent knees so you don't strain the neck. Take your palms underneath your shoulders, lift up through your chest. Rotate your body back to center. Lean back, bring both legs in front of you and rock your knees from side to side. And then take a breath and come back to center for a moment, just crossing one shin bone in front of the other. And taking a few breaths in and out. And now we'll move into the second side, bringing the soles of our feet together again adding props for your knees that you might need, turning your body over towards the right and taking a breath. As you exhale and fold, you're folding towards the inner thigh. Shoulders are relaxed rather than stretching the arms and shrugging the shoulders. So just make sure the arms are completely relaxed. Let your head hang. And if there's stiffness through the neck, Definitely bring props for your forehead so you don't have to brace your body in this posture. You can just begin to melt. 
Feeling into the left hip rooted, left thigh and knee winging open. Unwinding tension through the left side of the body, up through the side waist and into the rib cage, shoulders, neck. Taking a few more deep breaths here. Walking your palms back, lifting the heart and head and rotating back to center. Feeling the energy moving upwards towards the mind. As the mind begins to empty out, a new light emerges in the mind illuminating the spaces of the mind, clarifying your vision, your higher vision, your higher knowing, connecting you to universal wisdom, which is vastly more expanded than intellectual knowing. And then opening your eyes, taking your prop over to the right side of the body and you can shift over to your right hip, bringing the heel and the knee together to touch or stacking your knees on top of each other, bringing your prop all the way towards the hip and then turning the chest over the prop, lengthening along the heart. Take a breath. Finding that deep twist through the abdomen and then folding forward. Turning your head towards the bent knees and then resting here, letting the prop hold your body. And feeling your breath expand through the back body, 
just like a wave rising and falling. Place your palms under your shoulders and roll up. Coming back to center, crossing through the legs for a moment, coming back to easy sitting pose. Letting the energy settle. And to finish our practice, we'll come into a supported back bend so we can open up through the chest and the heart space as it's the connection between the heart and the head that opens us up to this higher wisdom. So let's take our prop, both blanket, bolster, or even your cushion or pillow and slide that to the base of the spine. So you want your whole spine supported and also your head supported. So you can always bring an extra prop to the top of your bolster if you need to, if you're tall. And then bring the soles of your feet together, let the knees drop open. If that's too much, just bend your knees, place your feet to the floor or stretch them out in front of you. Coming down onto your prop. Supporting the back of the heart and allowing the chest to open up to the night sky, to the space of higher consciousness. Closing your eyes.
as you welcome in the emptiness and the stillness of the new moon. Can you sense and feel into the wisdom that arises from this empty space, the space of not knowing? When you're ready, gather your knees back together. Roll off of your prop to one side. Slide away your prop. Come onto your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Interlace your fingers behind your head and curl the elbows and knees towards each other. Letting your head drop back in the palms. And then exhale and relax and either come down into Shavasana, resting here, or come up to a seated position. Taking a space of rest, and softening into the inner posture of sukha or ease. Taking this time to fully empty out. Receiving the seeds of your intention, your sankalpa, letting the seeds drop in from this place of ease. Allowing your sankalpa to connect you to higher wisdom, to the bigger picture. to the universal mind, to the knowing that's beyond the mind. And we'll bring our hands to heart center, taking a breath in, exhaling. Closing our practice with the sound of one ohm. Um, and having a beautiful new moon. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me tonight. And if you'd like to go deeper into your home yoga practice and deeper into the energies every month and every season, then join me on my membership and you can learn more about that below. These membership practices are full length and they're much deeper. We have more time and space to really open up through the whole body and to add extra layers to our practice like mantra, mudra, and pranayam and a longer rest period at the end. So I'd love to see you in the membership and until next time, take care. For more yoga practices like these, please like this video, comment below, and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.